we got another divisional game here. And this one, of course, in the AFC South. The Jaguars at the Titans. And the Titans are favored by 10 points here. Total of 44 on this. I, I look at, again, this Titans team, for as good as the record was, obviously they've lost two in a row. They needed that bye week like nobody's business. I mean, they just had to have it because their guys were getting beat up. Just absolutely beat up. Lost to the Texans, got whipped by the Patriots. Just not a good way to, to limp into the bye week. Now they come out rejuvenated. They got the Jaguars, who were coming off of an absolute beating at the hands of the Rams last week on the road. Uh, but, man, like I think 10's too much here. This is a divisional game. Like I, Earlier in the year, I felt good about the Titans being able to cover on, on the Jags, and they did. But this is a different spot. I think the Jags are playing a little bit better. I know they got whipped last week. But this time you're going up against an opponent that you know, that you've already played once. I'd, I'm going to lean towards Jacksonville here because I, I still don't think that this Tennessee team is, is great, right? Their, their record's really good, but this is not just a dynamic, unbelievable football team. This isn't a team that we looked at the same way that you would look at the, uh, the Chiefs when Patrick Mahomes like, was really rolling, right? This is just a, a meat grinder of a football team, and and I think the Jags are going to keep it within 10. Man, I'm I going back and forth on this one. When the Tennessee team shows up and they play well, they, they can kind of hang with everybody. But but if you look at their losses, I mean, they, they've got losses to the Jets, and they've got losses to the to the uh, Texans. So, so they can also get beat by anybody. That is true. This is true. So... You know, outside of the Patriots, they haven't lost a good team yet. Everybody they lose to is always crap. Well, that kind of fits into this mold. <laughs> Man, I, I don't like betting against Brabel, though, when I just think his team is so much better. Coming off a of bye, I, I, I'll lay the 10. I'll lay the 10. I don't think it's smart. I don't like it. But I think Brabel's one of the best coaches in the NFL right now. I mean, I, I, I do. I think he's he's earned his way into that conversation. I could uh, I could see that. All right, so Titans minus 10 for you. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.